Hello lovelies and welcome to part 2 of the fairy gnome house Part 1 was the build and today we're going to apply the clay Now I do have to say that unfortunately I lost footage of me putting on the first part of the clay But I will show you how to add clay when it has already dried what is most important though is that when the clay has dried and you want to apply new clay that you wet it with some water you can use your finger you can use a brush i usually use a brush but in this case i didn't know where i placed it so i started with my finger i found a brush later though but you just have to make sure that where you're going to blend out the clay um, that it is wet you have to let it set a little bit so that the clay can kind of revive but it should not be soaking if that makes any sense uh, the little cracks that you see you can easily repair them and i will show you as well uh, i'll just wet the clay a little bit and then add i know wormy dealy late so basically i'm uh, wetting everywhere i know that i'm going to put the clay because we're going to finish it off at least with with clay today and it's just a matter of i don't know adding it and smoothing it out i actually prefer to work in bigger pieces so that it feels most smooth and i just just keep building up the clay you want it to be uh, a little bit thicker so not very very thin what i am going to do next time i think is to um, rough up the surface of the plastic a little bit because i can kind of see that it has been sagging and unlike my skin which is 46 and sagging uh, i think that i can kind of help combat sagging clay the tool that you see me use here is actually one of those um, i think it's for cake for fondant and such now on the top part um, between the two houses there's a little bit of crack where it dried and it happens sometimes and it's just very easy just stick a little bit of clay on it smooth it in and then when that dries uh, you won't see it anymore it's a very easy fix and then it's just a matter of me applying more clay cutting out some uh, extra windows and just i don't know letting my cre creativity soar or something like that Now I'm going to do the window sills, I believe the wording is. I just make basically a clay wormy dealy and I press it on. What I do want to make sure I do though is that I really push the clay uh, onto the bottle as well. So that it has already formed along the aluminium wormy dealy that is beneath. Again, it's smoothing out. Wetting the clay again before I place another piece. And then what I do make sure is that I push the clay very flush against the bottle. Now air dry clay kind of shrinks a little bit when it dries. So I just want to make sure that I don't have a lot of gaps. I also got creative with holding it, uh, holding it because I am actually holding it on my lap. We're going to do one of the roofs now. And I just start with a big piece of clay that I 
well roll out until it's about i don't know what it is it's not half a centimeter it's i think four millimeters thick or something like that and then again wetting the clay that i have to place it on and then it's a matter of placing the roof pressing it down on top of the aluminium oh and we have a kitty cat here in the room hello kitty cat yeah but they cannot see you right now they can only hear you yes hello hi oh hi now on my other channel the people know that the cats are the backbone of my channel but unfortunately you cannot see her so that's quite sad Halfway through, I kind of was like, it's mushrooms, right? I want to give them a mushroom texture as well. So that's why I'm adding the clay here to kind of give the roof a little bit of support, but also uh, to make sure that I can add the details uh, later and that you see me doing right now on this one, because I was like, it's actually easier to do before I put the roof on. So sometimes I have my good moments, usually not so much though. Do you want to say hi to the people? Yeah. Wow. Now it's making the door and I have a system for the door. So I actually usually let the clay dry before I um, start making a door. So you see me pressing the clay in. That's to get a rough shape. I will show that. Uh, I, I will show the imprint here. I cut that part out and then I fit it again and I actually want it smaller than um, what I need so I have a little bit of light fitting through so I just cut off until I'm happy with that then I place it again to make sure that the shape is correct then I wet the clay and then I pop it on and then I also press it on to make sure that it kind of grips it a little bit and then we can get fancy with the door i don't need to put the music underneath because they can hear your music i also wanted half a, a half moon out of the door i kind of like having an opening in the door not in my actual door but in the fairy house doors so i'm trying to cut out the moon shape it's a little bit finicky but i get there in the ending And then I'm making uh, the planks, just adding some detail. If I don't forget, I'll put a picture in of the kitty whose voice you're hearing right now. Here is the top part of the clay house uh, done. Now we're going to go to the mushrooms. And because it's on actual wood, I'm going to wet the wood as well. It's not a processed wood. It's just a bare, bare piece of wood. And it will suck all the moisture out of the clay very, very quickly. So to help combat um, shrink, instant shrinking and drying, I wet the wood pretty heavily, actually. And it will all... Uh, well, that actually ver worked very, very well because it did not really have a lot of gaps um, to fix when uh, all the clay had dried. And I'm just starting on the bottom, building that up and filling it in with more clay. You do want to make sure that there is a structure there. Um, so don't do the clay too thinly. I hope that makes sense. And then more detailing because yes, mushrooms.
that's the part where the waterfall feature is going to come so i'm just going to make sure that it kind of works um, if <laughs> if i flow everything or if i make the waterfall feature later i have actually added a few pieces of clay underneath the top part as well before um, I add the details just to just make it a little bit easier on myself. Making sure that the positioning is correct. And then I'm actually, because I'm going to add clay there as well, making sure that the sticking out bits, the ones that are attached to the wall, the, the plug, um, won't be moving around a lot so because the clay is going to go on top of that if there is too much movement it's not glued down then i fear that it can kind of break the clay so i just i was just like the more glue the better and then it's just a matter of smoothing uh, everything down putting extra clay where i need it uh, i'm placing it here because i know i need the extra room then i'm gluing the lights making sure that the lights are very well glued down and because it's a little bit overhanging i'm actually building up uh, clay part where the wood is overhanging you can actually see it here the overhanging bit that is going to be filled in with clay did i also put in rocks no i think just clay just to give it more stability and then with that the house is complete and here you see it i'm very very happy with how it turned out uh, i hope you like it too i hope you like the video let me know what you think of it as i said part one will be listed underneath the cards part two is going to be the painting and i'm i had so much fun painting this uh, that will be next week's video so i hope to see you there don't forget there's also still a giveaway going on and if you like this video subscribe to my channel and give it a thumbs up and i hope to see you guys next week for part three